Hey everyone, welcome back to the Respiratory Therapy Resource Center. I appreciate you clicking on my video today. So if you could do me a favor and just subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it so I can continue making videos just like this one for your continued enjoyment. Have a great day. Bye. Hey guys, so today's video is about you getting your first job. You just graduated, you're about to get your first job, and we're gonna go through some things that I think are gonna be important things for you to learn in your first and second years, okay? So before we begin, don't forget to check out respiratorytherapyrc.com for any updated eBooks that I've uploaded, okay? So let's go ahead and begin with feelings. You're probably feeling anxious. You're probably feeling nervous, excited, and happy that you just got a job. No more free labor, right? It's awesome to have all of these feelings. Nervousness, anxiety are all part of it. It means that you care, that you want to do a good job, okay? So one of the first things I'm going to talk about is attitude. It's very important. You have to be humble, you guys. You can't go in thinking that you know everything because there's always something to learn, okay? Don't forget to ask questions. It's okay to ask questions. There's going to be other respiratory therapists who are going to be working alongside you who are going to be more than happy to answer questions and if not you need to find one who is right so you're going to have leadership you're going to have charge therapists always always ask questions if you're not sure take action people want to see that you are the one offering to do it that you are the one willing to help always take action people are going to see that even if you think no one's watching okay very important to take action be friendly. You never know who's watching. Patients, family members, other upper level management, nursing management, other physicians. Always be careful what you say and always be nice to everybody, okay? You want to foster a healthy work environment, right? Listen, okay? Don't forget to listen. It's very important to listen because when you're listening, you have the ability to learn something new. When you're speaking, you're only going to repeat things that you already know, right? So you want to listen, be open, be receptive to constructive criticism, okay? Listen. Okay, so skills. So skills that I think you need to focus on developing in your first and second years include interpreting ABGs, a big one, right? Arterial punctures, you need to focus on that. A lot of institutions have the nurses and the RTs do arterial punctures. Don't get comfortable with the nurses doing the arterial punctures all the time. You need to solidify that skill. That's one of the hallmarks of our job, right? So you need to make sure that you're offering, that you're taking those opportunities, you're taking action to go do the arterial puncture, right? Vent changes, you gotta get comfortable making vent changes. I know it's really scary because it's a big responsibility, but it's okay. Just practice, always refer to the nurse, always refer to the doctor, always refer to other respiratory therapists. You're not alone in this, okay? Say, hey, I wanna go up on this title volume. What do you think to correct this ABG? People are gonna be there to help you, okay? You're not alone. Oxygen modalities, you gotta know them from the beginning to the end, okay? Nasal cannula, small mass, non rebreather all of those must knows, okay? Chest x-rays, that's a big one. Um, basically, everything white is not supposed to be there except the heart, and then everything black is good unless it's a pneumothorax, okay? Unless it's too, too black, right? So basically... All the other ways of interpreting chest x-rays, leave it up to the radiologist, leave it up to the physicians, but you also need to know what a normal x-ray looks like and you need to know what an abnormal x-ray looks like. And while you're getting your first and second year of experience, you're going to be able to solidify this skill and you're going to be the one saying, I think the x-ray looks fluidy today. I think the x-ray has a new subtle pleural effusion on the left. I think the x-ray has a tiny pneumo in the right upper lobe you are gonna develop those skills, okay? So that's an important skill that you wanna develop. Don't ever go a shift without looking at your patient's chest x-rays, okay? Just always take a look at them and always get in the habit of interpreting them for yourself, okay? In healthcare, everyone's gonna have an opinion. You can think all these things about the x-ray, the physician's gonna think all these things about the x-ray, the radiologist is gonna think all these other things about the x-ray, you just keep solidifying your skills, okay? Everyone has an opinion. Other skills I think you need to solidify in your first and second years as a new grad, 
respiratory therapists include your patient assessment skills, okay? Knowing when a patient is not right. You just have that gut feeling. You see that they're labored. You see their vital signs are changing in the afternoon versus in the morning. Those are little things that you're going to pick up on as you gain more experience. Emergency situations. What do you do when your patient self-extubates? What do you do when your patient stops breathing? What do you do in a code situation? You're going to learn all of those things in your first and second years, right? The GEM ABG machine. Not every hospital has the GEM ABG machine specifically, but they are going to have some kind of blood gas machine, right, to run the blood gases. So the GEM ABG machine, a lot of hospitals have it, so you're going to get very familiar with that, and you're going to solidify that skill. Intubation. You'll probably do your first few intubations with another RT, and then after that, you should be good to go, okay? Again, this is a really important skill for you to develop, okay? It's really important. It's one of the hallmarks of our job. And then finally, the ventilator. That is literally our bread and butter, okay? So you're going to get comfortable. You're going to get comfortable with the vent, with the patients on the vent, with troubleshooting the ventilator, and making changes to the ventilator, right? So these are all really important skills that I just want to give you a heads up on that are important to develop, to solidify, and to practice, okay? Communication. You don't realize this right now, but you're gonna be communicating with the nurse, the pharmacist, the patient, the family members, the doctors, the advanced practice providers, the physical therapist, the occupational therapist, and occasionally the speech language pathologist, okay? So communication is gonna be a really good skill. If you're a really good communicator, this part's gonna come easy to you. If not, you're gonna learn, you know, you'll learn how to communicate because in the healthcare team, you need to tell people what you've done, what you did, what you wanna do because Everyone needs to be on the same page with the patient, okay? And that's another reason why it's really important to participate in bedside rounds in the morning, okay? So communication, super, super important because these are all the people you're going to be talking to all day long. Just relax and do your best. Do your best. Learn from your mistakes. Don't freak out. Don't have an anxiety attack. One day at a time, one step at a time you're gonna do great, okay? And like I said, you're gonna have the doctors, the nurses, the other respiratory therapists, the leadership team, the charge respiratory therapists. There's gonna be so many resources to help you, okay? So I hope you got something out of this short video and I hope you guys enjoy your first and second years as a new grad respiratory therapist. Good luck, do your best, you're gonna do great. Have a good one, bye. All right, thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. And if you don't mind taking a minute to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, don't forget to check out respiratorytherapyrc.com. I have some eBooks available you guys might like. So check it out. Have a great day. Bye.